Keith, the power play here in Philadelphia can always get better. It got better when you signed this summer as one of the top power play specialists in the National Hockey League. We welcome you with open arms. Love, Coatsy, XOXOXO. Oh, I got a phone call. Well, Keith, first of all, be on behalf of Xfinity and the Philadelphia Flyers, we certainly welcome you to the city of Philadelphia. Believe it or not, I've been a member of this organization for six decades. Wow. And so when you look back at it, the history shows a lot. From a winning percentage, and I don't know if you know this, the Flyers have the second winningest percentage outside of the Montreal Canadiens since 1967 and have been to more Stanley Cup finals than anybody except for the Montreal Canadiens since 1967. So there is a winning situation here. How does that make you feel coming to the Philadelphia Flyers? Yeah, uh, it's definitely something that you feel with the, the culture here is, you know, they expect you to win. Obviously, it's a market where, it, you know, when you're winning and you're playing well, they, they're going to treat you unbelievable. And from what I've seen so far in the first few weeks, it's, you know, one of the best organizations in the entire world. So for me, it's just trying to come in here, you know, play good hockey, help the team win games and you know, ultimately get back to that uh, number one prize. When you come into a situation like this, there's a lot of turnover in this this hockey club this year. And, you know, as a, a veteran, have you felt a, like a, a, a cohesion that's happening already, an energy that's already happening in that locker room? Yeah, 100%. I think, you know, obviously being early, it's it's one of those things where a lot of us were here before camp, a couple of weeks before camp, skating together, getting to know guys, getting to know guys away from the uh, rink. And, you know, obviously it's, it, it's helped me a lot having Kevin Hayes here to, you know, I just have that little buffer of introducing me to guys, getting guys together, go out for dinner, hang out, watch football together, whatever the case is. And it's been a uh, easy transition. And I don't know if it's because there's so many new guys that it seems like it's a, uh, you know, a group that everyone's, we're all pulling in the same rope here. It's been a lot of fun uh, so far. And, you know, probably one of the closest groups I've been a part of, especially being early in the season. You lived with Hazy for a little bit when you got here before your family to help you out trying to find places? I'm, at, I'm staying with him all year. So uh, yeah, I got oh, to babysit uh, baby Kev. So no, yeah, he's, uh, my family's staying in Florida just cause the kids start, they start school down there pretty early. So they've been, they've been in and um, you know, they'll come up and, and visit a bunch. But um, yeah, for, for the season, I'm going to stay with Kev. And you're going to babysit him. I think that's a nice idea. Yeah, he'll be babysitting <laughs> me too, so. <laughs> You're close to closing in on that record of the Ironman. Longest number of games without missing a game. Doug Jarvis holds the record. How important is this to you? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of those things where for me, it's, um, I try not to think about it too much. I'm kind of one of those guys I take every day, day by day, just kind of love showing up to the rink, love playing in games, love practicing. You know, been taught from an early age, you know, I, you know, my parents never missed a day of work. You know, worked hard for 40 years to, you know, provide for us. And, and you know, when you see your parents doing it, your uncles and aunts, your brothers and sisters doing it, it's just kind of one of those things where it's instilled in you to, you know, get up and go to work every day. Now, Hazy, you said you're going to babysit them, but has Hazy been nice enough to take you to some restaurants and some, some bars around town already? Yeah, he's a, uh, actually Kevin's a creature of habit big time. He's like that, you know, ever since I've known him, if he likes a restaurant, he'll go there four or five times a week. Um, so I've been trying to branch out a little bit, but yeah, some of, some of my favorites so far, there's a sushi place called Double Knot, which uh, we really enjoy that. There's a little Italian place close to where we live, Spazzo's it's called, it's a really good spot. Uh, the people in there take great care of us. Now, one last thing. I mean, when you take a look at the opportunity being here in Philadelphia, and have you liked it so far? I loved it. It's been great. The weather's been awesome. It's nice to have a little, uh, you know, climate change and stuff like that. Uh, but I think the biggest thing is the, uh, the the guys in the locker room here. Everyone's been unbelievable. Guys having us over for dinner, you know, meeting guys' families. It uh, seems like a lot of guys have young kids, which is fun. My kids are a little bit older, so it's cool to see the young babies just walking around, seeing, uh, you know, seeing how guys are at home with their families. Uh, is always, is always a fun part of the game, getting to know guys and their wives and their kids. So yeah, it's been great so far. And you know, obviously just starting up, it's you know something I'm definitely looking forward to all year. We're looking forward to you being on that power play, which is gonna be a big plus for this hockey team. And so on behalf of Xfinity and the Flyers, certainly thank you for taking the time to talk to us today and wish you all the best of luck this coming season. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.